Welcome to Real Estate Update. Here he is, James Wedgworth. Great to have you on. It's good being here. Okay, we're taking this after Thanksgiving. How are things looking? Give us a market update. Market update. Uh, the market is still surprisingly strong. It slowed down some. Uh, I was just looking at the October numbers. We had uh, 74 new listings in October. This is by the way, it's just on Hilton Head. 56 last year, so it's a 32% increase. We had 66 sales last year, 61 this year, so that's a small decrease in Not sales. Not too much though, right? No, and the inventory of available homes went from 166.22 in October to 186 now. So that's a 12% increase. And I know you always say supply or inventory has a huge influence on mm -hmm. uh, how things move. <clears throat> what are you seeing? Well, it sounds bad when you say it had a 32% increase in inventory. But you got to keep in mind those numbers are still so low compared to historical numbers. So it's it's not really as bad. I, I remember I looked up the other day, there were 19 homes to sell in Hill Neck Plantation. And uh, in April of 22, there were three. So even though that's a high percentage, traditionally we have 150. So if you break it down by price range, and there's 19 homes, somebody comes in and say, my price range is X. There are three houses in the price range. It's not a lot. And they come here for three days, and in an hour I say, well, you, do you like playing golf? You want to go to the beach? This is your options. Yeah. You know, that, that's, and it. that's it. That's yeah. all I've got right that's now. That's all I got. So <clears throat> it's surprisingly strong, even though nationally it's decreased a lot. Well, but you always here, say it's local, local, local. I knew you were going to say right? that. I'm I knew starting you to quote you that. now. That's a little yeah, scary. This okay? is really scary. In fact, you can just do the program. <laughs> no, I don't think I, I, I would screen. have, no, I wouldn't have the know-how. Yeah. Uh, what about mortgage rates? I mean, you know, they're high. Um, I, they must have an influence on what's going on. They do. Um, in fact, I thought they would have more of an influence than they, they have, but it has slowed the market down. As I said in our last show, the market peaked at the end of April 22. Right. First week in May, the interest rates went from 2.75 to 5.5 overnight. That's never happened before. They were trying to control inflation. But that has caused the sales to slow down, even though they're still good. Now, nationally, I read something this morning that said, um, U.S. home sales fall to a 13-year low, 15% below October 22. Mm. The days on the market is up 11% to 445 days. That's nationally. Right. Of course, as you said, all real estate is local, local, local. That has not happened on Hilton Head. These are just the national averages. I think there's a reason they haven't happened on Hilton Why? Head. What's Why? What's the reason? Well, here's what I think. Um, in 21 and 22, we had so many people from the Northeast come here to get away from COVID. And that has not been a huge market for us for my first 40 years in the real estate market. They're mostly Ohio, Pennsylvania, uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, places like that. But they came and bought, and then they started telling their friends, you got to come here. So. We've been selling these bunches of people from Long Island that we sold some, but not in the amount that we're selling now. It's so interesting. Yeah. So you think they came down, had a visit, and said, oh, this looks like the life for me kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, they, where their friends say, you know, you really ought to come here. It's surprising to me the number of people I've sold that this was their first trip to Hilton Head. See, traditionally, you have what I call a buying curve, and it works something like this. Somebody comes here on vacation, they come back, and two years later, they come back from vacation. They come back vacation, they think about real estate, and two years later, they buy. Yep. That's kind of the buying curve. The buying, that, it's wiped that out. You know, they come here on a, uh, vacation to see their friend, they buy the next day. And you so, don't mind that at all, oh, do boy, you? Oh, boy, great time. <laughs> great time to be a realtor. Well, we're going to take our first break, but I know you have a lot more information for James Wedgworth, okay? It's always good doing this. All right, we will be back in just a moment.